today we're on our way to one of the oldest fairs in the country with Jen and our artist friend Alan. This fair has been taking place since 1269 when King Henry III granted the village of Wickham a royal charter to hold a weekly market. Each year Romany horse dealers come from all over the country to buy and sell their horses. The Wickham Horse Fair is always held on the 20th of May, unless that day falls on a Sunday, when it is moved to the day after. The reason for this is that Romanies are mainly Roman Catholic, and to Roman Catholics Sunday is a day of rest. Although most of the dealings take place on the day of the fair, there are some deals done the night before. The main road through the village of Wickham is shut off to traffic for two days and barriers put down each side of the road to form a running track. Each year in the main square there are fairground rides. Outside what I think must have been a pub, but now Green's restaurant, a number of Romany cobs are tied up. There are many opinions as to why Romanies plait the tails like this, but I think it's just for decoration. This little skewballed foal is only a few weeks old and the young boy who owns it was trying to sell it to us. I just love the beard on this cob tied to the lamppost. You find many New Forest ponies with beards and moustaches like this. Down here at the end of the running track, people are starting to gather at the barrier, so I think the running should be starting soon. Also down here is the popular market stalls, and I see Jen and Alan have found the beer stand. In the market there are lovely dresses that the Romanies love to see their children in. Bow top, caravan rugs, Alan's paintings that have been reproduced on mugs and table mats and sulkies made for children. This is the only flat cart I've seen here today. I think it's for sale with harness. Notice the foot brake in the centre, very useful when going down a hill. The crowds have built up at the top and it looks like the police are about to start to let the sulkies through onto the running track. Yes, there goes that young lad we saw earlier grooming his piebald. This end turn has to be carefully done as the road is very slippery for the horses when wearing metal shoes. Seeing these horses trot up and down reminds me that the Romanis say a cob should step like a hackney, have the head of a Welsh cob and feathers like a shire. This group seems to be discussing a deal. Maybe it's on the cob that's just gone by. Romany riding bareback is the traditional way of riding and you see a lot of it here. Look at that lovely feathering, a characteristic and decorative feature of the Irish cob. These dealers are looking closely at the first one of these two cobs. Yes, I thought that dapple cob was of interest. And there's a lot of discussion going on at the barriers. There's a bit of interest in this flaxen chestnut cob and her foal. This one, I think, is an Appaloosa. No feathering here, though. This is a piebald cob. 
and this is a skewboard cob. As you can see the difference is the pie board is always white and black whereas the skewboard is always white with any other colour but typically brown, chestnut or bay. As the deals are done the horses sold are led away and loaded up for taking to their new homes. I wouldn't be surprised though if some of these Romany cobs are not here again next year to be sold again.